Released in 1967 as part of the Soldiers of the Century range, it was available as complete set and separate equipment and uniform half cards. In 2006, it was part of the 40th anniversary Nostalgic Collection. And in 2017, a reimagined 50th anniversary version, complete with figure, was released. For the paperwork, a Soldiers of the Century intelligence manual was included, with the outfit first appearing in the 1968 equipment manual. The uniform consisted helmet, tunic, trousers, boots and ankle gaiters. The battle dress, tunic and trousers were made of a dark khaki, mole coloured material. The trousers had pressed fastening with front left leg pockets. Had tabs at bottom of legs with stitching giving a slight taper. This was to accommodate the ankle gaiters. The tunic fastened by four press studs and had imitation pockets. Also featured corporal rank stripes on both sleeves. Metal ribbon on left breast. An insignia badge on top half left hand sleeve. All badges and insignia were sewn in. The helmet was based on British World War II design with moulded netting detail. It fastened by elastic chin strap and hook. The boots were made from soft injected moulded plastic and included real laces. The elasticated ankle gaiters fitted over bottom of trousers. Equipment consisted gas mask, gas masks bag, Sten submachine gun with removable magazine, belt, canteen, canteen cover and Victoria Cross medal. The gas mask fastened at the back of the head with elastic strap. The eyelets had clear plastic lenses. There were two filter cassettes moulded in khaki green with orange hoses connecting cassettes to mask, with longer hose connected to smaller filter and shorter hose connecting to the larger filter. The gas mask bag had adjustable sling and press stud fastening. There was attached cord that could be fastened over the waist or on front of the bag. The silver plastic canteen fitted into cover pouch, which in turn was placed into skeleton fabric water holder, which had press stud to secure bottle. Water holder could then be slotted onto the belt. The belt was adjustable with plastic slider. The Sten submachine gun had removable magazine and elastic sling strap. The Victoria Cross medal had dark red ribbon sticker. Later versions had lighter coloured ribbon. Thanks for tuning in this evening. If I've got anything wrong or missed anything out, it's comment section below.